Alright, so I've got my spectrometer and light source all set up and the light source has been warmed up for 15 minutes so everything is ready to go and we'll just go over the basics of collecting reflectance measurements using the infrared spectroscopy. So I've got my light source on and the reflectance probe in the probe holder and I've got my white reference tile. So first, before I start taking any measurements, you need to set reference spectrum before you start collecting any data. And then you need to recollect the reference spectrum every 5 to 10 minutes or so. So I've got my reference tile. So I put the probe over the tile and in the Avasov, I've got the mode in scope. So I just hit start and it will start collecting the spectrum for me. So you, that was in single measurement mode and now I can switch it to continuous and it will just continuously be collecting measurements. So I hit start again and now it's taking more measurements. So I can adjust the light source until I get the peak of the spectrum where I want it. So about 50,000 is pretty good. Anything more and you risk having it saturated. But this is just one way to adjust this. Um, you can also adjust using integration time on the computer, but I like to just keep my integration time consistent and then just physically adjust the light source. So I got that where I want it, and now I can start saving my reference spectrum. So I hit, or I turn the light source off, and now you can see that the measurements has gone down to zero. So I hit save dark spectrum and the dark spectrum is saved. Turn the light source back on and hit save reference spectrum. So now your dark and light references have been saved. So you can see when you switch to the reflectance mode, it's at 100% for most of the wavelength. Um, but you notice at the end it's all over the place. That's just because of the light source it doesn't have enough output at that wavelength range. So you can reliably collect data, anything before that, but in that range where it's not at 100%, you have to throw out all that data. Or you can set it up in Avasoft where it doesn't collect in that range. So I've got my reference saved. So I would use this for maybe 5 to 10 minutes and then I would have to re-save the dark and light references on the tile. Um, and that's just because over time the light source it will start to fluctuate a little bit. So you just make sure that everything is set back to zero pretty frequently. So we'll start collecting measurements on different samples. Um, just start with a leaf. Um, this one is, was picked today so it's fresh measurement different than if it had been dry, but that's just kind of what it looks like. So, And you can tell where you have it placed over the leaf by looking through the 45 degree hole. So you don't have, there's no, you don't have to guess where it's measuring. So if I wanted it on the mid vein, you can see that it's over the mid vein and there's some differences there. Then and the rest of the leaf. So that's what the leaf will look like. And then here you can tell that the leaves that have dried curled, and I measure those, it's not as consistent as when I was on the flat leaf. So I really recommend having samples as flat as possible when collecting measurements. For the soils, I've got it in the petri dish and it's filled up to the proper height. So I can just collect my soils and that's what soils look like generally. And but when you can see that if it isn't filled up all the way, it really doesn't take any measurements at all. It, it just it has to be close to the probe. And the ground up leaves that have been dried in the peachy dish.
And those are what they look like. So pretty consistent. You move it around, collect different measurements. And the final sample type that I've used is xylem increment. So it's in the grooved wooden board that has been or sanded down to a proper height. And I've got it so that the radial surface is facing up. So I look at the end and the fibers are horizontal. So that's the way I want it. And I just place the probe over the sample and I can check where it is. And now it's over the sample. So that's what the xylem will look like. Um, so if you want to save a measurement, you can stop, single measurement, and then you can, you don't have to have it be running continuously when you're collecting the data. It's just, you can just hit start when it's in single mode and it will take one measurement for you. So I'll just take it as on. And when you're done, you can hit save and save your reflectance measurement. You can also open up saved spectrum in Avasoft as well as convert it to usable format. So when it's in Avasoft, you can't really use it for any analysis, so you can convert it to something like Excel and then use the data from that point on. So those are just the basics of collecting reflectance data using near-infrared spectroscopy.